Hello everyone, welcome back, thank you for joining us. In this video, we will discuss how we created this grass using Quixel Bridge inside Unreal Engine 5 and how you can edit the grass to achieve different type and look and also color variation by also editing that grass type inside Blender and import it back inside Unreal Engine 5. So let's get started. So we started by modeling the landscape area by looking at the image references provided by NG Architect on their website for this project example here. They don't have actually uh, a blueprint as they have provided for the ground and first floor but these images were enough to start modeling the landscape area and also get closer as much as possible. The modeling tools were as simple as we have used them for the rest of the model. Also we made sure that for any areas that are close to the tiles of the project we have created an outline to separate the grass area from the house as it's gonna be used to define the edge of that grass. Then we have subdivided the grass after adding also different level. By looking also at the image references you can see that there are different levels in that project area. And this was also done by using the simple modeling tools that we have used earlier. Then we have selected the grass area Control I to invert the selection and hide it and then enter into the sculpt menu. After that we have selected for example the draw brush and went to the texture properties and you can find if, if you couldn't find the texture you can simply press on new and then select your preferred brush for example we have used the noise and then we started using that brush to add details to the grass area. Also we have added another type of details using the wood brush and then adjusting the angle area to create just some type of uh, vertical or horizontal lines that will help also in detailing the grass area as we have seen in their image references. So after we have finished the sculpting, the result was something like that. And then we have unwrapped this object to export it to Quixel Mixer to add the ground texture. Now inside Quixel Mixer, after importing our model, we have added two different layer of materials just to mix two different colors that will give us an, a nice effect when we start scattering the grass on top of the ground area. After that we have exported the material the same way we did before to Unreal Engine to start scattering the grass. So let's go to Unreal Engine and see how we did that. So inside Unreal Engine 5, after updating our data smith model and importing the other elements that we have added to our model, especially the ground level, along with the material that we have created using Quixel Mixer, now we are ready to get our grass to paint it on top of this ground level. We have chosen to work with Unreal Engine 5 because we wanted to see the effect of lumen lighting on the grass area especially with the large amount of grass that we're gonna scatter and how it will react to lumen uh, lighting and global illumination. So going to content and open the Quixel bridge and going to the 3D plants, the grass, we have downloaded the grass clamps plant and adding this to our project then going to the foliage area and then 
going to the that plan we have dragged it inside the paint area you can see now that we can start painting that grass plant on top of the ground level but instead of that we have used the fill to fill the whole area with this plant now it's really obvious that we can choose the plant and then go into the density and increase it for example to a higher level and then once you start to fill the ground you can see that the grass have filled the whole area now the, the only problem is that you have no control of these areas where you can see that because that plant is actually modeled in a circle shape to be useful when anyone wants to edit that grass in a large area. But for our ArcVis project here, you can see that you will face a problem when you are near to any edge of your elements of the your ArcVis project. To solve that, we needed to edit that grass plant inside Blender and then import it back inside Unreal Engine 5. So how we did that? So opening Quixel Bridge standalone application will help you exporting the FPX format of the same plant that you want to use inside Unreal Engine 5 to your preferred platform after installing the plugin that platform. In our case it's Blender and the, export, the plugin can be installed during the export process. If you find any difficulties to install the plugin, we will provide the Mega Scan plugin folder in the description below. You can download it and copy it to the same location as you can see here. So inside the startup folder, just copy the Mega Scan plugin, and then once you hit export, the export process will export directly the plan to Blender. And you can see now the 3D plant that we want to use. And if we go to the shading, you can see that we are missing actually the diffuse channel of that plant. This can be easily fixed by right clicking on the image inside Quixel Bridge, go to the files and head to the textures. And we actually need the albedo. So we're gonna drag this and connect it to the base color. Once this is done, you can see now that the, the 3D plant is imported inside Blender with all the textures. Now what we can do is, we can basically edit this plant to our preferred way of how we want to distribute it inside Unreal Engine 5. In other words, for example, you can see that it is on a circle shape, so what we do want to do is select faces and by hitting control and plus you can keep hitting plus until you reach to the last polygon of that selection and deleting the vertex the same thing we're gonna do here and also control plus delete by uh, pressing x vertex for example let's say that we this is what we want to end up with this shape now, after that, we will export the 3D plant to Unreal Engine using the FBX pipeline. And then, once we import it inside Unreal Engine 5, we will go to the grass and then to the foliage painting area. Just drag it inside the foliage type, increase the density, and then left click one time on the grass. And I can see now that the result is much better than before. We still have some areas that we can edit by going to the select and then just drag this. But the more you will, you will edit the plant inside Blender, the less problem you will see once you start filling the grass area. So we filled up the ground level with a 26k of that grass plant. Now another thing we can do is when we go to the material we can also add a speed tree color variation 
that will help us also variate the material or the color of that plant. So if we hit right click and type speed tree color variation, we can connect the texture to the base color, hit S to create a scalar parameter and call this for example color and then connect it to the amount and then connect this to the base color. Now the scalar parameter can go to slider maximum value of 2 and let's put the, ma the minimum for example to 0 0.01 because adjusting the color value can be actually done by really small values so we don't want to actually increase the amount of the variation to avoid any unnecessary or unneeded color effect on the plant so point two as you can see have added a reddish color on top of this plant so you can actually make it less value let's say for example 0.08 and apply and it's immediately applied to the plan another thing we need to mention is sometimes working on a large scale of grass like this or maybe larger when you start taking the camera view a little bit far away you'll start to notice that the amount of grass is actually disappearing and this is because there's a very important console command called foliage maximum triangles to render now this will determine how many grass can be viewed during real time so if you set this for example for 500 you'll see that the grass have dis disappeared so we need to make sure that if we for example are doing a large project like this we need to set this number to a higher value especially if we are getting like especially if we are doing uh, animations or capturing real-time images with a high scale high resolution that we need the grass to be visible in so another thing also we can do to our glass is that we can add another layer of details like dead leaves for example so we have downloaded some dead leaves that we will drag here for example and by selecting the plant something that we need to make sure is that these plants sometimes when you start to paint on the ground they will be on the uh, the same level of the grass and they can be hardly visible so there is a, a value for the z offset that you need for example to set it but let's say for example for seven and if we look at the ground pick this point for example and we hit we can start to see that we can add as many layers of plants for example the dead leaf or the falling leaves of the trees on top of the grass and this will help you develop more details to your grass quality inside your project so if we look now at our cameras you can see now that if we maximize the view for example to this level see now this technique help us develop realistic grass for architectural visualization project so hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you have any question please share it down in the comments hope to see you guys in the next video and thank you very much for watching